how's it going? I'm sitting here in the office and getting ready to hook up the router so Rachel can have her laptop wireless internet. So I've got to get that done. But we're day three into this moving situation. I know one thing, I'm not doing a whole lot today. I am tired. And Rachel's bringing me a box. Please be an empty box. Yay. What are you in there doing? Trying to get the bathroom situated? Yeah. Put the box out of the Anybody want to come help us? I don't want you to put stuff away, but you can help move stuff around. Because <laughs> it seems like we just keep moving from one thing, one room to another. But this office did look okay at one point. Well, I need to put these boxes in your Yeah, you do that. But I want to finish hooking up the router and. Oh, yeah, I gotta do the fishies. The fish. I don't, know why, I, I don't know why I said fishies. I only got one. Why you do my frogs? Yeah, I've got to um, make my fish a new home and she's got to clean out the her frogs that she never gave names for. So that's what we're going to do. So we'll see you in a minute. We just saw the Lowe's truck pull in this parking lot. Like, oh, washer and dryer. Now, where'd they go? I hope they're in this parking lot over here. Because if they are, they've got to go up through all three flights of steps. I gotta find them. <sighs> tisk tisk, delivery people. I don't know where they went. Me and Rachel saw the Lowe's truck pull into our parking lot. And as soon as we turned around, they were gone. Uh, I don't know where they went. We'll, we'll find them, I guess. You see what had happened was is they had the wrong address so they came back like a was an hour probably two hours later they finally got the right address and they finally got out here because when we did see them they were just making a u-turn from the place they were at which was not far from us but they were here wrong address it could happen to anybody but anyway we did get our washer and dryer it's in a clean cycle now um you can probably hear it show you turn the light on you see there's our washer and dryer now we can clean clothes and then clean some stuff and this right here brings me back to my childhood did i have one of these in my um, closet as a kid a little pull chain pull chain click click and i used to do that as a kid so i haven't grown up too much <laughs> I've been reading, oh, let me turn that out, I'm not using it. So I've been reading the um, manual to the washer, because it's got all these digital displays, this right here, and uh, Rachel's, did you finish reading, are you in the bedroom? Mm -hmm. Did you finish reading the um, dryer one? No. No? Well, I finished the, um, Reading the washer one because it got to a different language. So I was like, I think I'm done. <laughs> so you can start reading this one when you get done with the dryer. I'll start reading it because it's got a whole bunch of technical, all kinds of buttons. I had to figure out what they were doing. Were you taking a shower? No, I was not. I was in the bed. I heard the water running, or was I listening to this? I heard it. It sounded different than that. I thought I heard two separate orders. I thought you were taking a shower. Mm. Oh. Okie dokie. Well, at least we got our washing dryer. Sweet. We've been being bums today. We ain't done a whole lot <laughs> at all. Like I said earlier, I didn't want to do a whole lot, but I feel like I've just been doing nothing. Lazy. I guess we just need to recuperate because yesterday I was hurting really bad. But. I don't know what we're going to do the rest of the day. We'll see. We went out tonight to get some ice cream. Because I promised Rachel I'd get some ice cream for her yesterday. Since I bumped her head. She said, you owe me ice cream. I told her, I said, I'm going to remember that next time I get hurt. You owe me something. <laughs> but doesn't she look very nice tonight? She did her curly hair. I like her hair that way. She looks very nice tonight. I gelled it. Huh? I said I gelled it. Gelled it. 
we come down here to check out the pool since it's right beside our um, apartment. We can't really get in because I think they've got it locked since it is getting cold. It's probably low 60 degrees and I'm still eating my milkshake or drinking my milkshake. Alright, so we're hanging out in the office and we're digging out stuff trying to, you know, figure out where everything's going to go in this office. And I've been digging out all my NASCAR, Dale Earnhardt Jr. cars and I still got tons more. And what I'm thinking about doing is over here behind my desk, I want to get a shelf that goes on the top over here and put them all on top of. I thought that was a good idea. Still not sure. But I just want to get it out of the boxes because I just don't want them to get damaged because I spent a lot of money on that stuff. And Rachel's in the floor going through books and old school stuff. I need to get your Christmas paper with my Christmas paper and get it out in the storage um, closet outside. Even though we're going to be pulling that right back out in another month or so. Yeah, to go I do have a Christmas present somewhere in one of my boxes that we can go ahead and wrap. You know that? Oh, I can't say nothing. I was about to say something. I, I can't talk about that. I can't talk about the Christmas present. Christmas present? I can't tell you. Not what? while not, not while I'm filming. But I might be watching this. Uh... <laughs> Look, Rachel needed physics for dummies. Difficult. Well, of course it's difficult. I made an egg in there, though. Well, that's good. But anyway, this is how we're ending our night. I guess it's going to get me something to drink. and I really want to get the stereo set up. What do you think about the stereo going right now, up, over in that corner? That, I'm, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping it'll fit. It's not in the way. We'll figure it out because some of the stuff we get we got to get set. I just finished cleaning up. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow.